death means changing one thing into another thing change of form is death the tree in the forest died and the napkin is born <laughs> <laughs> hmm? So in the same tree, in the form of a napkin, lives. But we say the tree died, napkin is born. That means the form changed. Body also. Body was originally elements. Earth, water, fire. Huh? composed the mother ate all kinds of phosphorus iodine calcium this that she built the body for us a composition and then it stays and it grows for some time and then it begins to slowly <coughs> disintegrate and one day it decomposes but the elements are still there they came together they got separated Nothing is destroyed, but the farm, you don't see the body anymore. It's almost like, uh, does anybody have a small napkin, uh, a, a towel or something? Uh, 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 hanky, handkerchief, yeah. This time I'm going to create a magic. <coughs> ah, good, good, good. You want it back? What is this? Handkerchief. Anything else in this? Just the handkerchief, right? Nothing else. Keep watching. What is this? There was nothing in the handkerchief. Right? Where did the knot come from then? Is there a knot or a handkerchief? Huh? What is it here? <coughs> I, you saw only a handkerchief. Where did the knot come from? Is it a knot or not a knot? <laughs> okay, if it is a knot, watch carefully and tell me where, in which direction it goes. <laughs> okay? Where did the knot go? And where from it came? Huh? That is death and life. Knot was born and then knot is dead. But before the knot, Hanky was. <laughs> And after the knot, Hanky is. <laughs> that is the secret of death then. So we don't really lose anything. Simply we call it in a different name. Because it changed a form. The wood was there. Now the wood is dead, a chair is born. And then the chair is dead, firewood was born. <laughs> the firewood is dead, a bunch of ash is born. When the ash is dead, the ground is born again. The earth is born. Because the wood came from the earth. That's why earth to earth, fire to fire, water to water. What came? went back to their sources. 
where did you come? You go back to your source. That's why there is a beautiful English saying, nothing is lost when a candle burns. Have you heard that? Yeah. When a candle burns and melts and completely disappears, what is lost? The candle is lost. Huh? The farm candle is lost. Huh? But nothing is really lost. The say, candle is still there in a different form. In the vapor form. Huh? But still there. In that sense, there is nothing that is totally destroyed in the world. Nothing can be dead totally because everything is fully alive because created by a living God. How can a living God create a dead matter? Hmm? God created everything in God's image, right? What is God's image? Living. Life. Hmm? Life cannot create dead death. That way even an atom is alive, right? In the sci scientific sense, everything is alive. You see the life in an atom. You see the feeling in an atom. You see the emotions in an atom. You see the love in atom. The neutron, electron, they love each other so much. Huh? They don't even want to get separated. Huh? So to separate one gale from the neutron, you had to simply dash them huh? against a big rock underground half a mile below. Huh? Smashing of atoms. Huh? Their love is so bond. So how can you say it's a dead matter? Even in the scientific sense, there's no dead matter. Everything is alive. So the only change of the form. One form changing into another form, so the old form is dead, new form is born. Swami will give you the night off. <laughs> Our turn to give. Thank you so very much. <laughs>